hello friends yeah i'm gonna talk about <laughs> look up and for each activity now so i'm gonna share my screen and so first thing i would like to say the lookup activity in the lookup activity it it will just return uh, the values that is already available like if you um, use a lookup activity if you check the output it will just go to a file or a table and it will show the results of what the data is available in the table that's what it's lookup for and it will store the values and basically once the lookup activity is used you can use the output of the lookup activity in further other activities and let's go to for each activity in the for each activity actually it will for example let's say if there is a if the, there are like six years and data available so i want to create file or i want to loop through the activity for six times so we can make use of for each activity and uh, i will just make use of it so from the lookup activity the output will be passed to for each activity so and then we'll execute the data in the for each activity for that i have created some uh, a table sales details wherein it will have value for a particular year for each year if i pass the data will be displayed so uh, i created the table i created two store procedure one store procedure wherein it will select the distinct values and another one i'm sorry for this for making you wait we'll select the distinct values and these each of the year will be passed to for each activity to create a file in the blob storage so this is the second store procedure wherein i would get the details of sales data for each year so for example if i select where year is equal to 2016 and try to run so it is showing the data so now i have created both of the store procedure over here and i'm gonna <clears throat> show you how to create a lookup activity and for each activity so i'm going to create a new pipeline lookup and for each activity so i'm gonna drag a lookup activity In the lookup activity as i told you it will we use just to check the values. So I'm going to rename this activity, look up year value. <clears throat> so in the settings, I'm going to select the link service to the Azure SQL. So I'm going to select the store procedure, which I have shown here, sales here. So I'm selecting sales here store procedure over here. Okay. So now this is, so now if this is it. So now if I try to debug, I would like to show the output values for this so that it will be easy for you to uh... 
So it is succeeded. Let's see the output. So year over here, if I want to see all the years, I have to uncheck this. So I will try to run again. It is taking a few seconds. Just bear with me. It succeeded. Let's see now. You could see all the years over here. Okay. Now I'm going to use for each activity. For each is the iteration. So you will find the activity in the iteration. Let me drag and drop for each activity and connect the output of lookup to the for each. <clears throat> So I'll rename it fetch sales details for each year. <laughs> In the setting, settings, I want to go sequentially, I just mentioned. So as I already told you, uh, you I want to pass output value of the lookup to the for each activity. So I'm going to add a dynamic content over here. I'm going to select activity outputs look up activity output i'm going to pass the value of the so i'm just selecting the value click ok now in the for each activity as i already told you i want to create a output file over here in the blob for each sales here so what i'm going to do i click on the activities i want to drag and drop the copy activity over here in the copy activity, as you already know, create file for each year. From the source, what is the source over here? Azure SQL table data set. So here I'm gonna take a store procedure. The output of this it's the output of this stored procedure, which I'm going to use for creating the files. So I'm going to select this link service connection and sales in a year. So since it is a parameterized, you are, you are passing a year value. So I'm going to add value for the year. So item dot year. So we must be careful. Item dot year is not an integer field. It is, but the parameter is integer. So we have to convert, typecast it. We'll go to functions and we'll select the conversion over here. And then <clears throat> we'll select int. So I'll keep int over here. And click OK. So I passed integer value. In the sync, I want to create output value in the blob storage. Okay. I just don't want to select anything over here. So, but I want to go here in the data links. the data set i want to configure this output dynamically so that i can add year as and when the data comes the new year data will also a new file will be created for the new year so for that we have to select the file folder path and we have to actually write something like i want to give an m sales in item here and then i want to save it in the csv format i want to concrete all of this and click ok i want to save all click 
good. So now I have, I will fetch the lookup value. I will pass the lookup value to for each loop. And in the for each loop for each year, I'm gonna create a file. So this is how it works. Now, look at this, there is no file for each year. Now I'm gonna execute this. It's, it should create, it should loop through six times to create file for each year. Look at this, it's going create file for each year, create file for each year. What is the input? It is 2014. What is the output? This is the, these are the values for the 2014. Next, look at this. This is 2015 and these are the values for 2015. Look at this, this is 2019 and output value is for 2019. Let's go check the output files over here. Look at this. I have output files for all the years over here. Hope you understand this. I will stop recording now.